All right, everybody, we're back here today with Naveen Copperweiss Hell from yeah. Entheos. Yep. We're trying the Dark Art 7 year. Let's crack it open to see what we got. So what's up with this thing? So we tried to just pick something that kind of went with the theme, I guess. You know what I mean? It couldn't, we usually like to wordplay and kind of work things in, but we couldn't yeah, really okay. find anything that worked with your name. It's a metal guy, I got the dark it's art. It's a dark art. Well, we have an album called Dark Future. So Dude, that actually worked pretty good as an all, Theos means something like, uh, with God's it, it within. Mean, yeah, uh -huh. exactly. It's kind of like the root disaster. word for like, yeah, enthusiasm or... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it could oh, be, mean a lot of, a lot of different things. Like a, like a Greek kind of origin, it sounds yeah. like. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. Yeah, I like it. It's a cool name. Definitely. I didn't think of it. <laughs> Change. <laughs> no, actually, our old guitar player thought of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, the guy who we started the band with. He was uh, he was from one of your old bands, wasn't he? He's from Animosity. Yeah, that's yep. right. Mm -hmm. Awesome, man. Yep. Josh, was it? Uh, Frank. Frank, that's yeah, Frank. right. Cool. Right on. So anyway, we got a seven-year bourbon here today. It is out of... Lexington, Kentucky? Yep, distilled in Indiana, so it's MGP, but it should be quite nice. I've heard good things about it. Let's get it on the nose and see Hell if we yeah. can get the pulling right. nose out of it. Hmm. Like a little bit of honey on there. It smells amazing. Yeah. It's sweet, delicate. Light. Yeah, well, not very try dark. It. Let's try it out, see how we go. Take a sip. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Mm, yeah, that is... That's actually quite nice. Yeah, really good. Nice and smooth. Mm -hmm. Thick. Very dry, though. Yeah, it kind of dries your mouth out at the end. Not a real long finish, but man, delicious. Very okay. cool, man. So, did you guys... Where'd you guys get that? Uh, this one the fish picked up. I'm not even sure where you got that. I think it was just a random grab at a liquor store. Probably, okay. but yeah, we'd heard of it, uh, you know, getting some re good reviews and stuff, so we figured we'd snag it. 113 proof, so Try it's to. up there. It's not super high proof, but it's definitely 113. It's nothing to, nothing to blink at, so. Yeah, it's pretty uh, pretty intense. Definitely, man. That smoke wagon one is, uh, that's really high proof, isn't it? Uh, yeah, dude, that's a, uh, yeah, that's a, that's 114 right there. They can get really high. just a little bit more than what we're at. Have okay. you tried that mm -hmm. one, or? But yeah, I have had that one. Mm -hmm. I've had the smoke wagon. Larceny is really good. I like that one a lot. Yep. Uh, George Dickel. I was, I was saying that's in Tennessee where I live. Well, uh, that's what we started few, with, actually. I think. I like so, yeah, Dickel was. Hey, what we about. started with. But. No, not the first whiskey we ever drank, but kind of what got our Dickel interest a, into it. Yeah, Dickel is definitely a random grab. And, it's good. It's like the not too expensive. Yeah. Just something you can. The first time we had it, it was like getting hit with a two before, and we just <laughs> now it's like it's all right. Yeah, it's still right. good. Yep. So That's now great. That's all great. the rest of them. I actually haven't had uh, bourbon in a little while. So right on. Tastes great. Do you usually drink it neat like this? <clears throat> um, yeah, if it's something that's good, mm -hmm. uh, I will. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but I like mixed drinks. I like everything. Uh, oh, yeah. There's a place I was telling Fish about in Tennessee called uh, Nelson's Green Briar. I've heard of it, but I've never been. It's actually attached to one of the bigger like venues that has metal shows oh, called cool. Marathon. It's like the Marathon building is what it's called. And uh, it's really, really cool. And they have... It's a really nice spot, and they have the distillery right there. And they also have like a full bar in the front, and they make like all these really uh, cool concoctions with with the, yeah, with the nice whis whiskey. I'll have to put that on our list. Uh, yeah, I was telling him. Yeah, you guys should check it out. Definitely, man. We'll be you guys actually in Nashville <laughs> or just on the outskirts. We're like 20 minutes away in a place called Hendersonville. Okay. I know where that's at. But it's. We we go to shows in Nashville. We you can Uber into Nashville. Man, man. It's, not, it's not that far. We shall be hitting up Tennessee next year, probably spring or summer. So we'll hit you up, and you can show us yeah. a couple of good places to have a oh, pour. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be great. I've been I've been to uh, I've been there. And I, my friend actually works there. A good friend of mine. Nice. So I got to taste you know different stuff. And, Definitely. Uh, man. We went to Jack Daniels when we first moved to Tennessee. Actually. Mm. Mm hmm. Um, That's a beautiful distillery, man. You guys went there? Mm hmm. Yeah, I went there with my fiance about three years ago. He went there a couple of years ago when him and our buddy Lycan went to Dickel. Yeah, went to George Dickel. They picked up the 17 year. 17 year release. Then we swung over to Jack. Mm -hmm. and then they're, over, they're close to each other, right? Yeah. About half an hour or so, I think. Yeah, because we were going to go to George Dickel. 
and then we were I think it was closing or something and it was too late and we just went over there and I after think that we went to Uncle Nearest yeah and that one too I I just know that place because I always see the billboard. Yeah, we did that all in 36 hours. Left here, flew there, did that, flew back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, we do crazy just things. Just to get back and find the bottle we went to Tennessee for was on the shelf here for. <laughs> of course. Eighty yeah. dollars cheaper. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's crazy. Where, where are you from? Out, out there somewhere? Nope. Born and raised here. Okay. All right. Cool. Yeah, man. We got a new album coming out. We do have a. It's an EP, so it's five songs. Good. Okay. Uh, four of the songs are already out. And there's music videos for those songs. We've been just been continuously releasing songs every six weeks, two months. Yep. And so we've been doing that, you know, for the past however long. Oh, and yeah. then uh, the final song will come out the day it comes out, which is October 25th. Yeah, October 25th. Cool. And uh, there'll be a new video for that as well. Sweet man. And uh, it's a cool. I'm really stoked on this last video. Dude, it's really cool. It's more, it's, it's more of like a uh, cinematic kind of video with like a story. The cool thing about the latest releases are is like every song's been a little bit better than the last, and you don't <laughs> expect you. that. Thank you know you. what I mean? It kind of it just but it's progressing and progressing. And if this last one's anything like <laughs> the first ones have been teasing, yeah. in, then we're in for a treat. Yeah, I think the last one's like kind of the darkest one. Hell yeah! yeah. And it's got kind of a cool. Uh, plot in the video. Awesome. We're all excited for it, man. Hell yeah. Uh, so you've also done like a bunch of session drumming for other bands in the past. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, been in the right place at the right time. So I've got to do, uh, I did an album with Machine Head, mm -hmm. with uh, Whitechapel, and uh, Job for a Cowboy. Nice. A couple of them. Yeah, done. I do remember that. Job for a Cowboy shoots a couple of their videos here. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. So the one with the alien and all that. Oh yeah, because Nick lives here. Yeah, that's right. So they oh, use they use up. the venue down there. I was telling you, man, like if, for future, you know, down the line, yeah, keep yeah. that in mind because uh, we got a pretty good big production yeah. crew that comes in and does all that stuff. That's him. amazing, yeah. Because uh, our guitar player, Stan, uh, Mike. I call him Stancil. He lives here. Yeah. So mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of great having him here and then us in yeah. Nashville. So it's like kind of two. Now you got all one other community down here too. And you guys so, are like, you made the trip. Like, yeah. Stancil's been here numerous times yep. in video shoots with his other band. and. Uh, yeah, because I was like, hey, man, uh, this, this dude online saying we could practice over there. And then, uh, he he was like, where is it? And I like sent it, sent him the spot, and he was like, oh yeah, I've been there. I've filmed videos there, I've been there a bunch of times. So oh, yeah, it was it's definitely beats the hell out of practicing in a basement. Or, you know I mean? it's like, <laughs> That's kind of what our thought process was, you know, give him somewhere nice to play and yeah. get you set up for the show. Man. Dude, no, you guys really, I mean, made the trip amazing. I mean, this is the the cherry on top yeah you man now you get to i'm super impressed with this collection <laughs> no him, i was collection. like dude you, you've got 10 bottles of blantons that's insane <laughs> yeah he's good yeah i do have that like i was telling you earlier it's the entire set yeah they, I, each one has a different figure so you're yeah, saying right? the horse is a different position each one has a different letter that spells out Blanton's. So cool. And when you put them what, in order, it looks one, like they're running down the track. This one looks really cool, too. Yeah, we got that from the distillery about, what, a month, two months ago? ago? Yeah, a couple months ago. Okay. Back in August? No, yeah. end of July. Same difference. <laughs> so you went to Kentucky to get that? We were just in Kentucky when they released it. We, oh, okay. He follows all them group pages that uh, okay. tell you what they're dropping gotcha. every day. and. So while we're so out there, like it's a, one of the things we did. We went and hung out for a few hours before they opened. That's yeah, really man. cool. We actually just got back from Kentucky again, like not even two weeks ago. We got asked by a liquor store to join them to uh, pick a bunch of barrels inside the rick houses for their liquor store to sell to their customers. Uh, they called store picks. Okay. So we went in there and tried like anywhere between three, four, sometimes six different barrels of the same product and picked which one we liked the best. Got it. And they get to pull the whole barrel, bottle it up, and sell it on the oh, shelves. Oh, dang. Okay. Cool so you can have a single barrel, basically. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. a single barrel product. That's right. That's amazing. So, yeah, it was cool to be a part of, man, you know, and uh, hope we, we hope to do more of that stuff in the future because it was super fun. Yeah, that's really cool. Done a few here, so that was the first time I got to go to Kentucky to do it. Yeah. Uh -huh. At the distilleries, usually it's just here at a bar or... Right. samples that they bring right right in. yeah because uh they'll kind of when you're running a venue or a club they'll they'll come in and 
try to get their product in the club, right? Correct. That's kind of how it works. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm in venues all the time, but I don't know that much about the that side of things. So. I'm just there to make noise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm there to annoy everybody. You know? I don't know what I'm there for. Yeah. Something. <laughs> we just want to thank Naveen for being a guest yeah, today, course, man. man. Oh yeah. Thank the guys for rehearsing here, and uh, I mean, the, the pleasure's all mine. I got to jam, play a great drum set. Have some uh, amazing whiskey. Hang oh, out yeah, with man. the best two dudes in the Hang with the best. <laughs> <laughs> two guys. Are, all right, dude. Thanks, right, man. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Cheers, all Cheers right. dude. Mm. Good shit is good shit. Yeah, it's really good.